I'm back with another Baddies Caribbean review for the reunion part two. And I don't know, my thoughts on this episode, I feel like it was really rushed. I feel like they're, they went back to the flopping ass editing where everything was too rough. Well, actually, I'm not going to blame the editing this time. I'm going to blame the structure of the reunion, which goes back, which goes back to the hosts. Uh, because I was really rooting for Saucy and Janisha to kind of like get down as a host instead of just be like, hey, let's bring out this next person and then they fight right away. And they're like, all right, next person. Like there was really no structure there. Um, it kind of just seemed that like they kept bringing someone else new. And there was like a new fight, like every single time a new person came out. So it was a little unstructured, but whatever. I watched it. They got my view, but I'm not. I wasn't a hundred percent happy. Okay, I'm a Karen. No, I'm caring about this. The episode starts off with Tinka and Mipa fighting, and yeah, Tinka was hitting her stomach, and I know that shit hurt. Like I'm not. <laughs> like I'm. I'm. I'm also a pretty big guy. Like I'm. I have chub on, on me. Believe it or not. <laughs> But I do have chub on me, so when I would get into fights in school, I was a little bit chubbier. And when people would punch in my stomach, they would be like, oh, it shouldn't hurt because, like, it's just fat. No, bitch, that shit hurts. Like, if you get punched in the stomach, that shit is one of the most painful, <laughs> like, places you can punch a chubby person is in their stomach. Like, if you're trying to whoop a chubby person's ass, the stomach is, like, the best way to knock him down. Uh, Tinka gets knocked into the, to the couch. But I still feel like Tinka was kind of winning. I thought, like, on the last episode, they kind of made it seem like um, Tinka just got dro got dropped right away onto the couch and she was kind of losing. But this episode kind of showed that Tinka was actually kind of, like, eating with the hands, kind of, like, beating her ass. I'm really glad that Tinka whooped her ass. So then Jayla comes up and she's like, actually, I had an issue because of something that happened online. Girl, what, like... How long were you on there with Meepaw before you really get an issue with you? So like, were you just waiting on someone else to pop off so you can pop off on Meepaw? Like, girl, you're giving off, huh, me too. Like, everybody look at me, everybody look at me, and no one cares. I feel like the fight between Jayla and Meepaw, I don't know who really won. I mean, online, Jayla said that she caught Meepaw's foot and then, like, she missed or whatever, but uh, it seems like Meepaw actually did indeed kick. Jayla and instead of hitting her Meepo was kind of giving her like a couple of punches like they looked like this punch was kind of hurting and I feel like on this episode they were kind of giving Meepo like the good edit kind of giving her like the hype or whatever because like the fans were cheering her on Tommy Lee was like trying to like calm her down telling her that she's so bad bitch of course Tommy Lee would do that like Tommy Lee is a weirdo just like Meepa, so I just feel like, of course, she's gonna be doing that, all that, all that extra shit. <laughs> Meepa starts kind of like, like dancing, kind of like skirting, whatever, and it kind of remind me of Bad Girls Club, the reunion where uh, Judy or Rima ran up on Judy, and like she like snatched her weave off, and Rima like gets take like gets taking off the stage, and Julie's like, or Judy's like. <laughs> like dancing with her with Rima's weave and everything like I'm not gonna lie I started laughing with that like Meepa was kind of funny for that but bitch I don't like the bitch though okay so I don't think I'm trying to like her here but I kind of did feel bad for her because like she kind of did get overwhelmed so I'm like okay like I know bitches don't like her I don't like her as a viewer but like damn everyone's coming around once but then like I said they keep pushing out the, like more people like, they were not really giving these girls like their shine the diamond comes out and she's like so what's up like are we gonna run it up like are we gonna line it up do y'all want dialogue and i'm like yes i was gonna hoping for more dialogue instead of right away getting into it but we're talking about zeus here and they don't have like i said that kind of structure like bad girls club would or really other, any other reunion has more structure than this than the baddies reunion but i guess fans really only want to see that so i mean zeus is gonna profit off of that obviously if you know uh, making black women look stupid so then diamond and tiseki start squaring up and i feel like diamond could have definitely had better chances had she taken off those pom-poms that she had on her on herself and honestly i don't even know why these girls even dress up for these reunions like i understand if 
you're not really gonna be a part of the fights but it's the baddies reunion so i feel like everyone should actually start coming in like hair tied up sneakers sweats like this should not be a glammed up reunion like it's just gonna be pointless it's gonna be like there's no reason for people to glam up at these reunions like i understand if this is like like the bad girls club reunions because not everyone actually fights but on um, the baddies like you're gonna like and i hate like seeing them glammed up and i don't know where the wigs off and i just see them braided up ugly unfortunately diamond looked really good but she got fucked up like she fought Taseki and Taseki right away started like minking her down. Taseki was smiling, y'all. That's how she knows she was not taking this seriously. She knew she was gonna whoop uh, Diamond's ass. Diamond should have not been talking shit. Cause girl, Diamond was like, like y'all, this fight was, it was a little underwhelming. I'm not gonna lie. But like the way Taseki was hitting her, it was kind of like, she was like, oh, like, like wanting to like hurt this girl. Like she wanted to break something off of her. And then the last couple of hits, like, she kind of, like, gave her a hit. And then Diamond kind of, like, tumbles. So then Taseki does it again. And this girl falls into the chair. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, Taseki is really, like, a heavy hitter. Like, because that girl knocked her out, basically. Her tooth fell out and everything. But I wish they showed a little bit more gore. Because it didn't, like, from what we've seen on social media, she was, like, bloodied out. She had, like, a, a, like her lip was busted open, like, like that. Like, looking like motherfucking orgy or whatever, full of, like, STDs. <laughs> but, like, she looked just really nasty. So, I really wanted to see all that, like, all the horror. Diamond changes. And I think it's weird that the record, that the, that the film people or whatever were legit still showing her getting changed. Like, yeah, they blurred it out. But you literally see her whole vagina and her whole like boobs and just her naked and i'm like what the hell like isn't there like a dressing room where she can get in and she could just dress in and out like why did the cameraman still record her and why did zeus think that was okay to post like i understand it's their own network and they're gonna post whatever they want whatever they want but that's like way too much invading people's privacy like that is not cute and i don't know why diamond didn't ask for like at least a curtain or something or someone to like cover her with a blanket but I thought that was kind of weird that Zeus actually posted Diamond's whole body on, on social media. Like, I don't know if they like like Diamond like that, but I would have been pissed if they posted my whole body like that. Like, that's a whole lawsuit. <laughs> I mean, comes back out there. She's calling some other people out. And then Natalie hides behind security. And this is why I can't stand Natalie. Because, girl, you were talking shit about Diamond 2 on social media too. And yeah, she like, you don't follow her. But you got to kind of see the consequences. Like... You're the whole, you're the reunion, you're like the baddie CEO, you should be like, what's up? Not hiding behind security, like, that was, that was, that's like a weak ass bitch right there. <laughs> like, she's a weak ass, sc Natalie's weak and scary, she only picks and chooses who she wants to fight. And Natalie is just a pussy, like, that girl, like, she was literally be hiding, like, imagine being like the CEO of, or like the head of baddies and hiding behind security, like, this is giving a uh, bad girls all star battle Natalie when Megan wanted to fight her and Natalie bought her security and they didn't want to fight Megan and <laughs> Megan ended up fighting, fighting her security and that's exactly what Diamond should have done. She should have fought in Natalie and her security. <laughs> and Slim kind of like still continues fighting in slow motion. Like I don't know why she fights like her hands are heavy or something but she like swings and it seems like she's like like really slow like i don't know what's going on if she was taught to fight that way or whatever but that girl does not know how to fight that girl was like i said i feel like she was playing patty cake with meatball and now she's playing patty cake with diamond diamond was kind of eating but they were kind of tiny but i mean like that, that fight was kind of kind of down like i said i don't think they were both really eating and then slim is like yelling out loud Guys, I was drunk last time. See, I was drunk last time. Girl, there was really no difference between this fight and the last time. Except the last time you actually got dropped and everything. This time you kind of stood your ground a little bit. But I feel like because she mentally prepared herself this time to actually do this. Like, she kind of, like, stood her ground. But, Slim, er, I'm sorry you did not eat that. Like, don't make it seem like you whooped her ass. Like... And please don't blame it on the alcohol. That that's why you lost. Like we all know, like 
You lost, girl. Just just give it up, girl. Like, you got your ass beat because you got your ass beat. <laughs> what I forgot to mention, while when Tsuki was fighting Diamond, you see Bianca kicking her while she was down. And honestly, good for Bianca. I don't know how, how that even... I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know if that was Bianca's, like, objective. Like, she was the next one on her hit list. Or whatever because she, she literally kicked her and after that you don't you don't ever see her again like after that like did she really just wait for diamond to come out kick her a couple times and then left like <laughs> but that's good because i feel like bianca did have the reason to wait bianca did have like like yeah go bianca like get, get your lick back like get your lick back so then diamond gets kicked out and out of the reunion but like i said i don't think she like like they made it seem that she got her ass beat bad and that she just like was like you know like all the way fucked up and i don't know like it didn't seem like they i feel like et got it worse than diamond when it come when it came out to getting her ass beat but like when we saw it on social media it looked like it was really bad but the fight didn't seem too bad uh, only latinos know what biggie was talking about when she was like Fuera, 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 because there's literally a show, like a talk show that used to come out a long time ago, and it was a Latino show, a Spanish show, like a funny talk show where people would do like talents or whatever, like scene, dance, whatever, and like, it's kind of like an America's, like, the voice or America's Got Talent or, you know, American Idol, it's kind of like that vibe. And someone would start singing or whatever. And if the judges didn't like him, they will send someone to kick them out. And they'll be like, fuera, fuera, fuera. So when Biggie said that, like, hey, my, am I going to give me, like, like memories to that freaking childhood TV show I used to watch? So I'm like, okay, Biggie, like, you kind of, like, <laughs> that was kind of funny. Because, like, I don't think anyone got that reference. Got the reference. And it was hilarious. Gretchen comes back in. Um, so yeah, Callie, like, jumps in and, like, gets tossed around. And I don't know how you had the upper hand and still lose. Like, I'm gonna give it to Jayla. That girl got hands. And she's a strategic fighter. She will, like, aim and, like, look for it. Because she literally, like, grabs Gretchen, pushed her onto Callie. Callie ended up flying. And then she put Gretchen back onto the couch and started beating her up. Like, I'm not gonna lie, Jayla got hands. I don't like the girl. But I'm not gonna lie, she can be cocky for a reason, and I'm gonna try. I always try to like her on the next seasons. I always do. I really do, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a natural born hater. I would never call the girl ugly. I would never say she's weak. But I can't say that she's annoying. <laughs> so I'm gonna try liking her next season because on this on this episode, I'm like, okay, like respect because even on the second round with her and Gretchen, uh. She was whooping her ass. She was whooping Gretchen's ass. And I feel like Gretchen at this point needs to just, just stop trying to fight. Or just kind of just like bow down and just be like, you know what? I'm sorry. <laughs> because Jayla just keeps whooping her ass. But I'm not going to lie. Gretchen did eat her. Because when you, I saw that angle where she was like legit like grabbing her from her cheek. And kind of like really like gouging her cheek in. And I just know that hurts so much. So much. Like I just know like. Because she had like a big old scratch on her nose and on her lip. It was tooth ended up falling out. And that's dirty tooth, tooth teeth. That's dirty two tooths <laughs> that had falling out of people's mouth at this reunion. That's how you know this, this show ain't safe. <laughs> Bitches, like I said, if you're trying to be on this show, zoos will not give a fuck about you. They would rather get their coin. Okay. Yeah, Jayla's face looked really fucked up. But Gretchen kind of, you know, also kind of got her ass beat. Um, so that was like a tie, I want to say, just because Gretchen really did do damage more than Jayla did. And then, <laughs> Gretchen had the audacity to be like, it's over now, bleep, like saying the n-word. And I'm like, okay, girl, like, clearly Gretchen is not scary. Clearly Gretchen is like, gonna continue to do what she's gonna do. So Jayla, I think she should just drop it at this point because, like... It's not, it's not worth it anymore. Like, she's going to continue saying the end. Callie confronts Anna about kind of having her stories kind of mixed up. And Anna's, I mean, Callie's basically saying, no, bitch, that's not true. Like, my stories are not mixed up. Like, you need to, like, check your shit and not make it seem like my stories are all mixed up. She think my stories have always been the same. 
and I don't want you talking shit. And I'm glad people are checking on her because Anna talks recklessly shit. Like she rec like rambles on and just talks recklessly. Like and I feel like because she thinks she's untouchable, I feel like she thinks she's up there with Zeus. But like I said, Zeus don't give a fuck about these girls. <laughs> so it's like I'm glad someone checked her because she really needed that. She really she really needed someone to humble her down. Okay? Uh, um. Anna keeps denying everything. Uh, I think someone else, I don't forgot who else confronted her too, but Anna keeps denying and kind of seemed like, oh, well, that wasn't me. I actually meant it this way. I didn't mean it that way. Like, she just kept backing down. But we all know Anna's like, content. she talks recklessly and she's like a big on social media, but in person, she seems like, she's like, oh, no, that wasn't that kind of case. Like, you guys are just taking it the wrong way. No, girl, you're, 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 you're being confronted by everybody and now you want to be all like, with your tail tucked in, acting like you're innocent. Like, no, girl. Like, you're just scared, girl. And for a little girl, you talk too much shit. Rolly comes in with her bad energy. She just had a really stink energy from the get-go. Like, I I don't care for the girl anymore. Like, I didn't, li I didn't like her on East. And I kind of didn't really care for her all this season. But she just has bad energy. Like, really is the kind of girl that just, just, just sends bad energy, period. It's just not... Like, I, I just wouldn't ever want to be around her because you can just tell she's like, well, like, she's just always giving you the side eye. She's just always playing. And I just don't like people like that. Like, just vibe, girl. Why, girl? Yeah, she shouldn't even came to the reunion with that, with that vibe. But I do like that she comes to reunion prepared, unlike these other girls. Like, she never comes in glammed up. She comes in with bonnets and, and, and sweats and shirts and... <laughs> props to her because she knows what the fuck she, it's gonna happen like she's smart i guess then Rolly and tommy start arguing over an incident that happened in london and that's what their issue is and i'm like that happened like literally like two years ago why are we still beefing over this why are we still even talking about this like it seems like like a lot of old shit is being brought up and tommy is basically saying and tommy is just kind of continuing to kind of pick up Rolly and Rolly is like you know what bitch leave me the fuck alone like are you jealous of me and Tommy's like me jealous of you like I got a body like I have my own house like just kind of like clowning on Rolly and <laughs> she kept saying that she did not she did not like the way she smells and her cricket teeth yeah this is not the first time someone says that Rolly smells and I believe it <laughs> I believe that Rolly does, does smell like I feel like she has like fish sense down there you know what i'm saying and i'm not necessarily sure if it's like an infection or something but <laughs> the fact that if tommy's if tommy lee's saying that this girl smells after being like the fourth fifth sixth person we heard saying that oh girl really need to go to go to the doctors or something then nunu comes out and anna's getting prepared she's like tying a chain on her freaking on her, on her hands Again, Anna is a pussy. She has to fight with weapons. She has to be behind security. And they start, um, you know, squaring up in each other. But y'all, <laughs> I don't think Anna was prepared for Nunu because, <laughs> like, they were both swinging at each other, y'all. But it seemed like Nunu was, like, a lot faster, a lot stronger. Like, her hits were, like, just tagging a lot more rougher. So Nunu just kept tagging that girl, y'all. And I looked to the it looked at one point it seemed like <laughs> Anna was being electrocuted because she was like like I don't know if like Nunu was like swinging on her, but this girl kept like going like that and then she falls into the couch and then she continues to look like she's like being electrocuted, like she's like moving just too damn much and Nunu's just tagging onto her and I'm like, Yes, like finally someone whooped Anna's ass. Like that was very well deserved. Like she that was that was really funny, but I'm not gonna lie. The second round, Anna kind of got got some power. I don't know if it was like the Latina on her, or if it was like some like something you know that she took or something. But she kind of like you know it was a it was a, it was a, a tie like that second round. But for Anna to be a small girl, she really you know she kind of she can fight, but I don't know why she hides so much or why she tries to be so like girl. But I mean she did get her face broken into so. Maybe it's just trauma. <laughs> episode ends. Um, the replacements come out. Heaven comes out. J.O. And I think Jellybee doesn't show up. I don't think she comes in. Which I'm glad. Like, I don't think none of us really cared if Jelly... Or, no, I don't think anyone would really care if Jellybean came or not. Like, 
I think her only starter was Callie. And at this point, Callie is being tossed around without actually fighting. <laughs> so I don't think Jelly Bean is really necessary in this equation. And J.O. is like saying hi to everyone. I thought she was going to run up on, um, what's her name, um, Meatball. Because they had problems and the whole knife situation. I thought she was going to be coming at Meatball. But she comes over at Biggie and, starts, and gives her like the one-two piece. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell? Like, I did not expect that because I don't think they had beef throughout the whole season so i was really curious on why she targeted biggie but ended up in a, in a cliffhanger but all you hear is biggie say me why me and i'm like oh my gosh here goes biggie probably gonna start crying on it in the next episode making a big deal talking about why me why me and doing all this shit and i really hope that she tries fighting her back but i have a feeling in the next episode we're gonna see this girl like um cry and like tell everybody why that she doesn't deserve this calling all hell mary in the next episode you see tommy versus roly and it seems like roly was kind of whooping tommy's ass as she should i feel like tommy was talking a little too much shit and you know roly is about the life you know she may be a big girl but i've realized that that girl has won every single fight she's been into except the jailer one <laughs> that one she really like i feel like that's what kind of like got her to like train herself up to really like start whooping bitches ass because that was really embarrassing <laughs> um but yeah she it looked like she was, was kind of whipping her ass grabbing her by her wig or whatever uh and then when you see what else do you see on the next level oh you see et running up on roly and right away she gets knocked out like that's what i'm saying i feel like roly is a really good fighter she uses her weight i mean she whooped camila's ass last reunion and Camila, we all know her as long legs, long arms, skinny, but athletic, good fighter. So, you know, the fact that she can whoop Camila, that to me, crowns her as one of the best fighters in motherfucking bad. It's a little um, weird. Like I said, there wasn't really any dialogue. They kept pushing like the girls to come in like two minutes after another. It didn't really seem like they were like trying to give him their freaking space i feel like the like the fights were too much after another it wasn't like an actual reunion like an actual like talk show i guess you would say um i was really disappointed in saucy i mean all he kept saying was like commentary and whoop her ass and kind of trying to instigate and everything and, like he couldn't really get control of the reunion which whatever you know i guess that's what zeus wanted or whatever um i really hope that in the next episode it's a final episode i don't want no damn part four like i'm tired of the season i'm tired i'm tired of talking to the same bitches over and over and over, and over. um and yeah guys thanks for watching my youtube video this is me recapping talking my shit commenting on these bitches' fucking lives <laughs> um let me know what you guys think about the episode did you guys like the episode um my favorite this episode has to be i'm gonna say nunu just because listen i don't really like nunu i hate that she like makes her baby daddy her personality that that's kind of corny uh but i do like the fact that she's checking anna even though she has no reason to but i really do like that she's the one that's checking anna like anna needs that humbleness in her you know and my least favorite this this episode has to be um i don't know I'm gonna have to go for. I'm gonna have to go for Jayla. I didn't. I, I didn't. I don't know. Actually, no. Cause I respected Jayla on this episode because of her really cool moves. You know, she she runs like a ninja. Uh, oh fuck. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna say my least favorite is Anna, just because she got checked, she got beaten, she got embarrassed you know that like when she was getting hit by Anna, Nunu I'm telling you she looked like she's being like she get in it her hair was going all over the place and she was just like going like that and <laughs> it was hilarious all right um thanks for watching my youtube video guys I will see you guys next week with another baddies carrier last review hopefully and hopefully we can move on to next bitches and I will make another video after the last reunion part and I'm going to just talk about the season overall, who I liked, who I didn't like, and kind of just kind of rate the girls, uh, kind of like I did with the Bad Easy's. All right, thanks for watching my YouTube video, guys. I'm out.